Roma, another favorite struggling. Uh, Brazil only plays 1 1 against Switzerland, but before I'm talking about the game, uh, can I just put some hate on Neymar? I don't like this guy. <laughs> I think he's a great player, but everything that people don't like about Ronaldo, I find it's even worse in Neymar. Uh, he's showboating, uh, he is whiny, he's uh, always complaining. If he would just concentrate on playing, just like Messi does, or uh, actually show some that he can lift a team as Ronaldo does, uh, I wouldn't mind as much. But all he does most of the time is uh, complain, complain, complain. And that's my gripe also a little bit with this Brazil team. Uh, or, yeah, with this Brazil team, it was uh, also previously. Um, the way they pressure the referee for video review. Um, I understand there's some gamesmanship involved. Yes, maybe they were unlucky to not get a penalty and maybe they were unlucky that the goal was given. Uh, I don't deny that, but um, don't put that much pressure and always whine and complain on the referee. I understand gamesmanship. I really do. I'm a fan of the Italian national team. Yes, we're not. they're not here. I'm still a little bit PO'd about that, but... Um, for me it's too much, especially coming from a nation that is known for its beautiful soccer, uh, should come with more self-confidence. That's what I'm missing. They are, uh, they, are, they are behaving like an underdog, always complaining, 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 always in the ear of the referee. I don't like. I really don't like that. And that's one of the few reasons why I'm not as much a Brazil fan as many others around me. Um, the other ones, too, before I go to go to game, the other ones I don't, uh, is this all being overconfident. Uh, I always have the feeling that they, I understand, they are the nation that has won the most World Cups. But going into every World Cup thinking that you are going to win it and everyone else is crap, I don't like this attitude. Um, especially if you're not as much above the others in style of play uh, anymore. Um, I personally have not really seen a Brazil team that lives up to the standards that my father or others have told me that Brazil, they play this magical soccer. I have really not seen them. Maybe the closest uh, they came to was in 98 and maybe 2002 at one point. Whether, yes, you can see the, peop they, the players can play but there's always some restraint and I understand modern tactics demand that you're a little bit more um, organized and maybe hold back a little bit and that happened today in that game too, especially in the first half where Brazil didn't do much and they got their goal. Beautiful goal and that's, that's exactly what I, I love. Brazil makes really beautiful goals but they could show us so much more. I never can shake that feeling with Brazil and that's frustrating to me. In addition that they always think they have to win and then yes, uh, they win a lot. Uh, and the last World Cup they won 2002, uh, I was happy when they won considering the alternatives but um, going into it they were not a big favorite. They struggled in qualification uh, and it didn't seem like this will be Brazil's World Cup Then they got lucky with the draw and yeah, take it from there. Um, I think the greatest Brazil team that I've probably seen was either 94 or 98. 94 was very restrained, but that was at the beginning of me being a fan. And so that Brazil team was a little bit of a breath of fresh air and Romario was sensational. The 98 team I didn't like because Ronaldo played for Inter. I'm a Milan fan. So um, I was really hating on Ronaldo, but uh, given they produced some wonderful games, especially against Denmark, uh, I like that game a lot. Um, Against Morocco, uh, yes, it was maybe too high the result back then. Uh, against Chile, I think this was were all wonderful games. Um, yeah, and then they beat my Holland. That's just the other national team that I usually cheer for, which is again not there at the World Cup. So you know, uh, it's not my World Cup in a way. So that's what I'm always a little bit pissed about Brazil, to be honest. There's always something missing. And now um, they got humiliated by Germany. And they're again going to the World Cup. Yes, they probably have the most talented squad 
it's amazing to me as well uh, without making a big shake up in Brazilian soccer they have the, the most talented squad at this tournament but show some humility you just got humiliated by Germany 7-1 on home soil a team that completely fell apart a good portion of which is still in this squad and I understand your favorites but you need to approach it a little bit nicer a little bit with more humility um, compare it to the German team wherever Germany wins if you I mean I watch a lot of German TV most of you guys probably don't I watch actually the World Cup on German TV because uh, they actually do a pretty good job um, but whenever Germany plays they have confidence that they should beat but whenever they win a World Cup it really feels like an outsider has won although Germany the most Germans know that the team is good that was miss that's for me and maybe I'm wrong but I have the feeling that this is what's missing for me all those fans with hexa 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 I cannot stand it okay enough hating on Brazil the game again it um, I didn't seem too much of the first half unfortunately I missed the goal I think I joined the game after the goal for personal reasons kids were driving us nuts a little bit but okay uh, I saw a very controlled Brazil uh, Switzerland didn't do much then after halftime Switzerland suddenly turned on stepped it up a gear scored a goal yes probably was a push but um, I think it was not too bad and Switzerland then deserved the draw uh, well organized uh, Brazil probably should have had a penalty I don't deny that but the goalkeeper also did very well saving uh, in the last minute also there so uh, Switzerland surprised me and actually they were under pressure from Serbia and now they put the pressure back on Serbia that game is a crucial game the next one uh, don't expect to be a pretty game but I think that is a that's a real make or break game for either side to it once well I hate it too much on Brazil I feel a little bit dirty doing it but it's the way I have I mean it's not that I dislike Brazil but I don't like it as much as other teams uh, that's always the feeling that I got with Brazil so this is my little yeah you're not supposed to dislike Brazil but I don't dislike them uh, but I always think they could show me more and they could approach every tournament again with a little bit more humility that's how I feel let me know what you think if I'm totally off or if you have similar feelings Jersey matchup uh, again classic matchup probably color was my favorite but once as you see close-up of the Switzerland Jersey off looks horrible uh, uh, too much too many dots everywhere and this thing under the sleeves uh, that Jersey looked much better <laughs> on pictures than actually in game uh, looks like a, the Jersey has a rash in a way or something else it just doesn't look right to me uh, again from a distance nice classic matchup totally liked it uh, close-up no didn't like the Swiss jersey one bit uh, Brazil jersey I do like that's something I mean Brazil always puts a little some color in there and they always play in their classic kit even when FIFA demands that they play uh, one color so that I'm happy about uh, their numbers on the back look a little bit off but okay that's fine well let me know your thoughts about that game and everything uh, the World Cup turns out to be a very interesting one the favorites are even struggling more than usual I would say that can only be good for the tournament I think can make it very interesting well bye if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you've already done so I would like to thank you for your support it is very much appreciated also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.